Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts. I truly appreciate you being here. Um, today's video, something a little bit different, I found unique. Uh, someone sent me um, a message uh, showing me something that I thought was really cool that I was going to make a video out of it. And then I looked at a couple other things. Well, I'll add to it. Well, uh, Beverly Hillbillies memorabilia that's been for sale. Some from like autographs and stuff. But some of them are straight from the show, which I think are really cool. Uh, I got a couple of them. Um, let's just look into it. What do you say? Yeah, I looked on eBay and uh, looking for different uh, Beverly Hillbillies articles for sale. And they have quite a few things. Uh, uh, just mainly stuff like uh, they got an authentic uh, cast picture signed by the Hillbillies uh, valued at $500. It's, I mean, it's really nice. Uh, and then they have stuff like, uh, uh, puzzles from back in the day and, um, uh, other signed pictures. And, uh, they have, uh, comic books. The comic books are on there and they're going for like 195 to $250. But in 2008, uh, there was a unique item that went up for sale of all things, Buddy Ebsen's Beverly Hillbillies mustache set. Um, that was used while on the Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, let's give the description here. Uh, remember, this has already been sold. Thank you. Uh, Beverly Hillbillies mustache set with a uh, photo and a letter. TV history you can hold in your hand or glue to your face. Available via this uh, lot featuring mustaches, Buddy Epson, Wars, book Jed Clampett, and the powerhouse comedy, the Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, the tiny hair pieces come in a blue case accompanied by three black and white snap uh, shot close-ups of Buddy as Jed. The lot also includes a letter to uh, Buddy signed in full by Roy, Roy Stork, uh, who is a makeup man on the series presenting the star for the clamp at uh, Counterman's. The mustaches have seen plenty of action, but are all still intact and in excellent condition from the Buddy Hefson collection. Um, to be honest, I don't see how much was actually paid for these things. Uh, uh, it's kind of a crazy item, but that's not all. Uh, in 2014, uh, Irene Ryan's Granny Clampett signature wig went up for sale uh, in an auction. Um, and it's a uh, description was Irene Ryan, Granny Clampett signature wig worn, screen worn on the Beverly Hillbillies. Iconic screen used wig worn by actress Irene Ryan as ever feisty Granny Clampett on the classic television sitcom, The Beverly Hillbillies. Wig is fabricated with hand knotted blonde gray human hair with a fine lace front, hair styled into Granny's characteristic bun and held in place by concealed rubber bands in the back. Accompanied by the wig's custom-made hat box carrying case measures 8.5 by 6.5 inches with a zipper enclosure and attached hoop carrying handle. Accompanied by a vintage bottle of Max Factor Spirit Gum used to attach the lace wig on the wig to uh, Ryan's head. Also included is a blue ribbon utilized to accessorize and complete the granny look. Uh, this piece of vintage TV comedy history comes from the collection of Kingsley Colton, longtime friend and agent of Irene Ryan and executive director of the Irene Ryan Foundation. Uh, now, be honest with me when I ask this and leave your answer in the comments. Would you really like to own Jed Clampett's mustache or granny's wig? And the second question. I really want to hear this answer. How much would you have paid for Jed Clampett's mustaches and Granny's wig? Want well, know the truth? Me neither. I wouldn't have paid a dime. I think it's funny, though, that, that these actually sold. Um, and I'm sure there was uh, many bids for it. I'm sure the collectors out there for that type of thing, but it's just not my type of thing. Oh, man. I hope you guys got a kick out of this like I did. 
Uh, don't forget to have a great day. God bless you. Oh, what I forget? Oh, yeah. Classic rock and country music facts and trivia. You head on over there now and you check that out. Mean it. Don't make me hypnotize you. Have a great day. God bless you. Praying for you.